I'm here with Anonymous for the Voiceless uh, in Amsterdam. So I'm here with all the organizers of the Netherlands. So we're here for AV5. We have now a cube going on, 16 people in the cube. You can go to jointhecube.com and find an AV chapter in your neighborhood. And if there isn't one, then you can start one. It's really important to get active for animals. They need us, hold people accountable. So um, see you on the streets. This is Sonia from Ancona, Italy. This is our cube, is our activist, standing strong, our reaching people. Non-vegans are the reason for the killing, the murdering, the torturing of the animals. And we need to do something about this. We need to spread awareness and we need to take action. This is Michael Davis, organizer for the Auckland chapter of AV, going live at AV5 at our event today. We're all here to stand up for the animals. We have outreaches speaking for them as well. This is going to be a great day for animal rights. New Zealand is one of the few countries that can do cubes at the moment and we really want to push it hard so that we can make up for all the other cubes. Go to cubeoftruth.com and find your local chapter. Take that opportunity to stand up for the animals. This is Sandy here. I'm the organizer for the AV chapters in Columbus, Indiana and Bloomington, Indiana. We have four volunteers here today who are doing an amazing job standing strong in the cube. We are coming to you live from Bloomington, Indiana in the United States. For any non-vegans watching this live stream, we urge you to please learn the truth. You have the choice today to go vegan and end your part in this cruelty. This is Kimito Sabata from uh, Boulder, Colorado. Today is AV5. We got some outreach going on here. Great. But this is our cube. Wherever you are, please join us. If you go to anonymousforthevoiceless.org, there is a world map where you could look and find where you are and what the closest city where there's chapters available that will host queues for you to join. We are live from Chicago. So we have today over 17 activists. Chicago chapter first cube uh, took place in November 2016. I would like to give a quick shout out to Paul and Asal for staying focused on the right thing. We are not here for the numbers, we are here to expose the slavery of billions of animals. Stand up for what you believe, even if you have to stand alone. Hello everyone, this is Ciudad Juarez, Mexico, celebrating the 5th anniversary of AV. We have our cube of truth here and we're at a park full of people. We are here to hold non-vegans accountable for what you see in the screens. So people stop exploiting animals. We need to stop animal exploitation right now. Thank you. Bye. We're broadcasting live for AV5 from Cordoba, Argentina. It's really an honor to be joining the AV family for our fifth anniversary. If you're already vegan, please go active, please join your local AV chapter. It's super important. If there is no chapter in your city, you can start it just like we did it here. It's really simple. It's really important to speak up with an abolitionist message, to tell it like it is, hold people accountable in a respectful way. Here is Alfonso from Fuengirola, Spain. So we have a four people cube, AV anniversary, five years. So congratulations everybody for the good work and the hard work defending the animals, holding people accountable, promoting veganism to end all kind of animal exploitation. Join us because we need to end this injustice, the murdering of billions of animals, innocent animals. We are live from Genova, Italy, celebrating the anniversary of V. It's the V5. This is our four-person cube. We are not vegan yet. You need to see these images. You need to understand that when you're buying animal products, that's what you're paying for. This is what you're responsible for. The amount of abuse inflicted on these animals is just horrible. Here in Halle Saale, Germany, this is Stefan for AV5. It started raining really, really bad. As you can see, 
we have to use umbrellas. This is just how it can end up always showing currently footage of the chicken meat industry. So this is happening for broiler chickens. If you eat chicken nuggets or anything that contains chicken meat, you are responsible for this. I'm here with Hollywood, Florida for AB5, AB's fifth anniversary with animal rights activism when it comes to keep of truth, being a voice for the animals, spreading the vegan message. We want people to understand that it's wrong to support these exploitative industries that see these animals as a commodity, as products. We need to make sure that people get the, the message, understand that these animals aren't here for our use. They aren't here for us to exploit them, to kill them, to use them for experiments. This is Sumaya from Lanzarote, Canary Islands. We're here to hold people accountable for the choices. Everyone watching this who's not vegan, do what's right for the animals. They need us, they don't deserve what happens to them. It's the biggest injustice still existing today. For the ones who are already vegan, we encourage you to be activists. It's our duty to speak up for them. It's the very least we can do. I'm coming to you live from Leeds, West Yorkshire, UK, with a cube of truth. Celebrating our fifth anniversary, as you see some volunteers stand in the cube, holding the screens, showing footage from farms and slaughterhouses. Basically, we tell people the truth about the meat, dairy and egg industry. We stand here for complete animal liberation. We're on the boardwalk here in Long Beach, New York, and we're just speaking to the public. We're here to come together in solidarity and unite with all the cubes around the world to speak up for the animals like everyone does every day. So I thank all the activists. There's trillions of animals being murdered every single year, and it's up to us to take responsibility for our actions and and to speak up. If we stay silent, then we're on the wrong side of history. We're endorsing this behavior. Welcome to our humble cube here in Melbourne. We're representing for our five year anniversary, standing strong here on Burke Street Mall, the birthplace of AV. This is the dairy industry where babies are stolen from their mothers. For those of you who aren't vegan out there, this is why we do what we do. We do it for these individuals. When animals who you needlessly eat are stabbed to death, you're being an absolute hypocrite and the answer to the cancer is to be vegan, which is very simple. This is Juan and Dara from AV Miami. We're here today at a Cuba Truth celebrating our five year anniversary. If you want to get started and you want to create uh, an AV chapter in your town, very easy to do so. Just get in touch with anonymousforthevoiceless.com and you'll be able to start your own chapter. We have four amazing activists here. We are showing the truth, folks, what the industry is trying to hide from us. We are exposing the industry here, letting everybody see what they support. This is Francesco. We are broadcasting for International AV5, and we are in Italy right now. We are in the center of Milan. We are more than 35 activists coming from all over the north of Italy. and. We are speaking up for animals. We speak for animals because no one in this world is willing to listen to their voice. We are here in Montevideo, Uruguay, in our AV5 event. Here we are going to do five hours of Cube of Truth because this is Anonymous for the Voiceless anniversary. Happy birthday, AV. So we have a four-person queue, and everyone's working very hard to get the truth show. It's important to show people the truth, the hidden images that the industries are not letting us see. I'm coming in from New York City, New York. We are here with the Cube of Truth. We are here today for AV5, which is the fifth year anniversary of Anonymous for the Voiceless. And we're just so happy to be back out on the streets. We miss being active for the animals and bringing their message to the streets. We are one of the few ways that people get to experience and see exactly what the animals go through. Be vegan or be active if you're already vegan and go to the website, anonymousforthevoiceless.org. We are live from Olomouc. Czech Republic for AV5. We are standing strong here for the animals. We are holding people accountable for their actions and having conversations with them, edifying them to a vegan conclusion. Due to the 
lockdown, volunteer attendance has dropped a little bit, but that doesn't stop us from standing here because it is so important to stand up for the animals. I'm Giuseppe Di Benedetto and I am live streaming from Palermo. This is the cube of the truth for the fifth anniversary of Anonymous for the Voiceless. Being vegan and being a vegan antispecies is difficult in many cultures. Anonymous for the Voiceless gives courage to all of those who feel oppressed by the judgment of the society. We will speak up for the animals as far as we have voice. Hi from Rome, Italy. Today we are 32 activists to celebrate the first five years of Anonymous for the Voiceless with the AB5 Cube Fruit. Anonymous for the Voiceless is an effective and outstanding voice against the longest and the largest injustice, the animal abuse. Be vegan is important, but it's not enough. We need to be activists. So join AB to hand the human supremacy and the animal abuse. This is Ashley here. We're out here in Salt Lake City, Utah, holding a cube of truth for Anonymous for the Voiceless's five year anniversary. We have a pretty strong cube going on here. So we've got four strong cubers inside the cube right now. And we're here today just showing the standard practice footage of essentially the animal holocaust. If you're a vegan, please get active. We're up against huge corporations, we're up against the government that's spending billions of dollars to hide this from the public. We're here in Taipei, Taiwan, and we're here doing AB5, five, five hour cube of truth. We're having a four person cube. Let me uh, go talk to one of our uh, uh, volunteer, his name is Wei. Would you like to say anything to the, the vegans out there or the activists out there? I would like to emphasize how important it is to be active. Those animals, they don't speak the language that we understand. We have to speak up for them. We are the only hope. We are the two AV organizers here for the chapter of Venice, Italy, to celebrate the fifth year AB has been organizing. We have a four persons cube and many more of us are outreaching right now. If you are looking for ways to get involved with AB, go to jointhecube.com and find a chapter near you. If you can't find any, you can always start your own. Keep up the good work, everyone around the world. Vienna says hello to the world. AB5 is going awesome. It's a little bit less foot traffic because we're in the middle of a lockdown but still we're having good conversations quality over quantity that's the motto no matter how many we are as long as we are here we can make a change I'm very grateful to be a part of this organization it's so powerful to be a part of this team and thank you everyone who is standing today with us in solidarity power animal liberation this is Stefan tuning in from Wittenberg, Germany for AV5. Standing strong with a small but dedicated two-person cube. We are currently four activists. On this screen we are showing standard practice of the meat industry. Even a two-person cube can just be as effective as an eight-person or a twelve-person cube, especially in the smaller cities. Stay strong for the animals. Welcome from the beautiful city of Wrocław, Poland. We are here for the animals and we are here to speak to people. So this is our cube of truth. You might wonder why there are so few of us. Poland is under strict restrictions at the moment still. Our events are limited to five activists. This means that we can only have two people in the cube to bypass this a little bit, we have two locations today. And here's our second location, showing the truth. We're broadcasting live for AB5 from Cordoba, Argentina. This is, to be precise, our 112th Cube of Truth. This is not about vegans versus non-vegans. This is about welcoming people to question yourself and question your consumption. And if you really question yourself, you will find that you are against this. You are already on the side of veganism. This is not about food. This is not about environment. This is not about health. This is not about love. This is not about anything other than justice. I'm joining you here from Melbourne, Australia. We've got a four person cube, four TVs rocking at the moment. For those of you who don't know, this is Burke Street Mall. This is where AV started. And we're here this weekend in commemoration all of the work and the contribution that we have made to the animal rights movement over the last five years we have redefined street activism 
We have given a platform to so many vegans to do activism and we've only just started. We're here with the Cube of Truth in New York City, New York. You could see us there. We're here today for the second day of the weekend that is celebrating five years of Anonymous for the Voiceless being out on the streets. On these screens we see different aspects of animal exploitation and abuse. Our reasoning is to explain to them what they're contributing to and explain to them how they can stop doing that and live in a more aligned way with their ethics and their values. Third day in a row, AV5 for five hours each day, standing strong for the animals. Yesterday was also pretty good in, in Vienna. One of our activists starting an outreach conversation. I didn't even think about the doing activism, but when I saw what happens to these animals and I asked myself, is it harder for me to go out there on the streets or is it harder for these animals? Well, you know what the answer is. The more we are, the faster this change goes on. So we're back in Melbourne, guys, doing a Cube of Truth in commemoration of our five year anniversary of being out on the streets. So this is the fish industry. 2.7 trillion animals are murdered every year from our oceans and farmed fish. There is more bloodshed left in the path of this injustice in just one day than in all of the wars carried out throughout human history combined. 